Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some mild conditions out there again for this evening with uh, very calm wind speeds, very pleasant temperatures, and mostly clear skies overhead. Still a few clouds lingering on from earlier this afternoon. It was a very beautiful sunset, but now that the sun has gone down, those mild conditions are, uh, well, they're staying in place, and they're going to be staying in place as we head into tomorrow morning as well. Thanks to our Sky Tracker network, though, really good look outside at those quiet and calm conditions. But switching over here to our satellite and radar, we can see the cause of these quiet and calm conditions. Actually, this high pressure system here spinning clockwise just off to our north. They can kind of follow the pattern. It's pushing all that rain off to our east, pushing that in a southerly direction, while the rain off to our west is actually pushing off to the north. And you can see it's kind of spiraling around the center of that rotation there for that high pressure. Now, generally, a high pressure will lead to warm temperatures like we saw today. It'll also lead to lower rain chances. So even though that rain is coming our way from the west, I don't expect much of it to reach us here in the basin, especially not this evening. Very clear skies overhead for most of us, but you can see a little bit of cloud cover there around Odessa and Midland, just off to the east. South of I-10, similar story, very, very clear conditions, but you can see some of the clouds resulting from that rain in mainland Mexico getting closer to us, and we can expect a little bit of rain south of I-10, which really wouldn't be a bad thing. We've got some dry conditions out there on our drought monitor, as well as some moderate drought in that sandy tan color beginning to pick up there on the southern border as well as the western border. Now here in the basin, we're not likely to see any rain chances, especially for tomorrow. But south of I-10 could be looking at a chance for some isolated thunderstorms. So Odessa Midland, going to stay dry, going to stay sunny. May see a couple more clouds like we did earlier today. And wind speeds will be ramping up a little bit more than what we saw earlier this afternoon. About 10 to 15 miles per hour is about what we can expect. Temperatures area-wide are just going to be downright pleasant, though. Especially in the morning time, dropping off into the low 60s here in Odessa Midland. Mid-50s there in the north northern basin as well as the higher elevations. But once we get to the afternoon, conditions look to be very similar to what we had earlier today. 88 degrees for Odessa Midland, 89 for Wink, a little cooler in Marfa thanks to some of that rain sprouting up. Again, Marfa, the Van Horn Mountains, some of the Davis Mountains, those are the places that will see some very mild isolated thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Odessa Midland going to stay dry, not looking at a chance for rain in any of the next seven days. Now, 88 degrees will be our high temperature temperature tomorrow as a result of some sunshine. We'll pick up to 90 even on Thursday, 91 Friday, top out at 93 Saturday before another cold front comes through on Sunday. That one dropping our temperatures down pretty seasonal. 84 degrees the high on Sunday with winds about 20 plus miles per hour. So a little breezy by the end of the weekend. Uh, you can't get much better forecast than no, that right there. Can't. Yeah, I really couldn't have picked them better myself there. <laughs> nice job, Chase. Yeah. I know. I wish I could have done as well on the lottery ticket. Yeah, though, but, absolutely. Yeah, you went some, you lose. So. <laughs> Thanks, Chase.